Hey there, Jono here. Welcome back to another Imperator playthrough. This time we're going to be playing as the nation of Massilia, a tribal nation, at the, a settled tribe at the start of the game. And we're going to try to form the nation of Numidia, uh, which is going to be a little tricky. We're going to have to take some land from Carthage, who's pretty tough at the beginning of the game. Uh, but as a personal goal, I would like to maybe expand outward beyond North Africa here and like take all of Italy and Iberia at some point, maybe even bits of uh, southern Gaul. Uh, at first, we might go the historical route and try to ally Rome uh, and fight Carthage that way, which is kind of, I think, what they did in real life. And then Rome eventually betrayed them or turned on them and conquered, subjugated them eventually. We're going to try to reverse that and do that to Rome this playthrough. So, uh, if you enjoyed the sound of that, then uh, please like and subscribe. That would be really, really great. And uh, let's get this show, show on the road, shall we? So, why don't we start off uh, with this character focus. This is the Terra Indomita mod that I'm playing with, uh, which introduces a few new mechanics. It has this uh, character focus thing here, which is similar to that of uh, CK3. It also has this uh age mechanic here where it gives you different bonuses throughout the ages and you can even have a golden age like in eu4 and it also has some new pop um uh, things as well like if i go to right special pops here i don't often use this because it requires a lot of pi but it is kind of an interesting thing that you can get these special pops and they give you these unique unique bonuses but uh why don't we start off not sure how much I'm going to be able to get done this episode. It's probably just going to be, you know, uh, just just kind of getting things in motion here. Just kind of setting things up a little bit. So we could go for a focus here for our character. Our character is particularly useful with charisma. So why don't we go down the oratory focus here? And we can go with foreign affairs, populace. I mean, they all kind of give us the same bonus, more or less. Except for this one, which gives us fertility bonus as well as family prestige. That sounds okay. But maybe I'll go with one of these. I'll go with uh, foreign affairs, I guess. And we also have some trade routes we should fill out. Uh, let's see here. We don't really have any nobles. We are a tribe, so we probably want to get some woe to get the tribal happiness. We'll do two of those. That's nice. And we have one more trade route. Uh, let's check our military. We do use lots of horse skirmishers and light cavalry and some light infantry. And axemen. Interesting. Okay, so we are already trading for some of these things here. We could maybe get the bonus on one of them, like base metals, horses, which would give us population output. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, that's not bad. All right, so we are unmarried. Maybe we should do something about that. We could we could maybe scheme for a spouse. That would cost 10 PI. Or maybe I'll just arrange marriage. Let's see if there's anyone here who is decent. How old is our guy? We're 50 years old. No children. That's not good. Okay, so we want someone who's young. Someone who has decent traits, maybe. You're not bad. You are just an polymath. As well as having good finesse. Maybe I'll go with you. Oh, you want some money, do you? You want 10 gold. Alright, you can have 10 gold. That's fine. Uh, we should pray for an omen. So what do we want? We want civ change. Population happiness. I mean, we're probably going to go to war soon. I mean, I'd like to maybe clean up some of these guys in here. Go after Massacilia. Over here. I'd like to maybe clean this up before Carthage does. So 
maybe unintegrated culture group happiness would that make sense or just population happiness in general maybe it's just the population happiness in general let's just make people a little bit happy for now we should ha fill up these free slot ideas we go with martial ethos or ordered retreat or permanent shipyards i'm gonna go with the martial ethos with and get that morale of armies bonus and for the oratory ideas, maybe mm, improve opinion might be pretty good because we would want to get some pretty decent allies. Yeah, I'm going to go with hosp Hospitium. We'll go with that. And that gives us a tribes and bonus, which is nice. I'm going to send a relations improvement gift. We can actually just get a gift or an alliance with Rome right now. Which I might do. I'm going to get an alliance with Rome. Uh, yeah. And also, we should probably start our mission tree here. Or actually, why don't we go through and... Just kind of, uh... Reshuffle all this stuff. Because I don't think this is probably... This is probably not how we want it. So we're going to just dismiss all these guys... Maybe as well as our researchers. Especially our researchers. I don't think our researchers really matter too much, to be honest. What did I do? No, dismiss incubate. That's what I meant to do. So why don't we go over here? And we're going to go with the elder position first. And we're going to put in this guy, Zetteries. Zetteries Romina. That's fine. Um... Manpower recovery speed is probably fairly important, so we'll put you in there. Um, monthly mill experience is probably important. Uh, national tax. That's fine. We'll put you in there. We are. We still have some scorn family, so maybe I'll put you in there. And... Maybe I'll put you and national citizen output. That's probably, or citizen happiness, that's probably the least important for our, our worries right now. So now we just got to find another guy here. There we go. You're okay. So you'll be a researcher. You'll be a researcher. That's probably for the best. Okay, so why don't we start our mission tree here? And we can do consult the clan council. And what does this one do? Settle Massilia. Massilia owns three or more cities in the province of Massilia. So where, which province is that? That's this one right here, I believe. Okay, so we need to found a couple of cities in here. Or we could try to conquer some from Carthage. Definitely not ready for that. So why don't we... Consult the clan council. We'll do that. We will speed time up here. And I'm going to just unpause this. And we do see that people are asking for our trades and goods and whatnot. So we will accept that. And how long will this last? This will last one year exactly. We could probably... Look for some extra allies. Do these guys not have any enemies of any kind? I don't think we can determine that. Sounding out the opposition. Debate has raged for many years over Rocky, over our Rocky relationship with the nation-states residents in Numidia. Gaetulia, a nation many in Massilia call a friend, stands well-placed to provide us with assistance in our endeavors to control Numidia. Many of our more warlike advisors, however, seem intent on burning all bridges and laying waste to Gaetulian lands in an effort to further advance our cause. That is these guys right here. So we could look to a peaceful approach, or we could look for a warlike approach. I think we're going to go for a warlike approach. So... That's nice. Maybe I will form an alliance with McKay. They are a neighboring nation, but one that I can expand close to over time. Over here, maybe uh, Atalalia. Probably mispronouncing that. I'll ask you guys for an alliance. So that gives us three alliances. 
That should be good enough for now. And that should ward off Carthage. And maybe I will also improve relations with Rome. That will bump us up to well over 100. We want them to like us, especially early on in the game. So how are we doing over here? This is about you know, like 10%. 20% of the way there. Don't really feel like spending money right now, but we could just lower our army maintenance a little bit because we're not we're not going to need it for now. But maybe that only helps with uh, legions. I'm not exactly sure. But it does increase our integrated culture happiness. The troubling Vermina clan. The Vermina have long been proponents of reducing the central authority of Massilia. They argue that for far too long, our people have moved to our larger villages and cities, like Kurta, forsaking our old ways in smaller towns. Jugurtha Vermina argues that we need to repopulate all the land we have left behind, as our traditions are closely connected to these tracts and villages. Many have already started ba backing his thoughts. Uh, you know, they want to dec decrease monthly centralization. Oh, you know what? I should probably... Maybe consider looking at some laws. Now, if I want to form Numidia, do we just become a... No, it, it's a tier two formable, and we will be unable to form any other country with the same or lower tier. Okay, so it's not... You don't just become like a, a monarchy. That's the word I'm looking for. So I probably don't want to reduce centralization. I probably want to increase centralization. So I'm going to say the Fermina family are only out to cause more trouble. Uh, the matter of Numidia. The region of Numidia has remained a valuable source of trade and commerce for our nation for many long years. Many amongst the clan council can insist that such a bountiful land would serve much better purpose if fully integrated under the Massilian banner. Of course, as with all manners of state, many are, many are in opposition, claiming that a healthy relationship with our neighbors is far more important than a wanted land grab. The leaders of each side have represented or have presented their arguments and asked for an arbitration as to which method would be more appropriate in our dealings with the various states' residents in uh, Numidia. Uh, we're probably going to go for a warlike approach. I like to expand. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's look at our laws. Could we, should we change any of our laws right now? We could go for barter economy statutes. So that would increase monthly centralization by 0 0.05. It is currently not moving at all. Uh, or we could go for this one, which would give us 0 0.10. But do we want the commerce income? Or the civilization change. Or we could look, let's look down here. Monthly ruler popularity sounds really nice, to be honest. I do like ruler popularity. You are... Yeah, you are... Well, I mean, you're popular right now, but that's going to change. Um, especially since I'm probably going to have you scheme for influence. Right now, you are siphoning funds. That's not bad. Considering we might need to bribe people. Maybe I'll, yeah, you can actually siphon funds for now. That's fine. Uh, what were we doing? What else was I looking at? Right, I was looking at my laws here. So do I want to change any of these? I mean, it might be a good idea. Yeah, it might be a good idea. I kind of want extra money. So I'm going to go for barter economy statutes. Or do I want the popularity? Oh, I can't decide. Let's go for absolute authority, actually. Let's do that. We're going to pass a law right now. It's going to hurt a little bit, but it's going to be okay. Our stability is on the rise. We don't have any claims yet. We could summon the War Council, I think, and get in an immediate claim. But I'm pretty sure this is going to give us claims. So we don't need to do that just yet. We can just sit back and relax. Carthage is not at war with anybody, I don't think. So this is almost halfway done here. Now, do we have a claim yet? No, it hasn't given us a claim for any of these. These guys are a tributary of Carthage, so we can't fight them without fighting Carthage. You guys are not a tributary. Do you have any alliances? You do not. So they are open for invasion. 
That's how it looks to me. So we're just sitting here waiting for this to finish. And then we might go to war as soon as it does. See, who do we have in our kingdom right now? We have three known cultures. We do have the Punic culture. We could look to integrate them. Maybe not right now. But at some point, it would be useful because we could use them to gain their military traditions. Now, what is this? Sika land. A dispute between the clans of Jagurtha Vermina and Adherbal Takfarina has arisen as both of them want certain valuable land in Sika. Both sides have their claims to the area, and supporting one of them over the other could end up with disloyalty from the spurned clan. Both of the clan chiefs have offered to support the nation with gifts if they are given the region. Jagurtha Vermina has offered us more troops, while Adherbal Takfarina has offered a donation of gold. Uh, jeez, okay. Who is more disloyal? Jagurtha Vermina. This guy is more disloyal, and he is a little bit more uh, influential. So maybe I'll go with his. Maybe I'll maybe I'll support him. He will give me a little bit more uh, manpower for the next five years from Sika, which is this little province right in here. So that's. It says that I'm the holding older. So I don't. I'm not sure how that works exactly. So this is almost done. It's going to be done in just a few months. It really kind of slows down. The way it moves is, uh, like, the way time moves is kind of slow at the beginning of the game. I think because it's like there's so much stuff happening in here that uh, it, it, I find it really runs rather slowly early on. So, we're just going to sit here and wait. I don't feel like building anything. I could build something. Like, I could build a library if I really felt like it. Would it make sense to do that? I mean, why not? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just build a library in our capital. Give some sort of bonus to our research e efficiency, which is pretty pathetic. We don't start off with any tech at all. Like, not even starting tech. So, it's going to be a while before we get any kind of tech. And so it's, this is almost done now. It's just going to be a couple of months. And we'll probably go to war or at least start a war this episode. I don't know if we'll be able to finish it. See, how? what does our manpower cap at? It? Just under 6,000. Okay. So in less than a month now, this will be done. So yeah, it looks like our missions want us to conquer this nation first. So maybe we will do that. Maybe we will conquer this nation first. Then we're going to start focusing on over here. So it looks like we did just... Oh, yeah. We gained uh, enhanced militarization for the next 240 months. Diplomatic reputation minus 4. War score cost minus 5%. So people are wary of us for sure. Everyone in the immediate area is kind of probably talking about us being like, I don't like what I'm hearing from these guys. But uh, let's see. Do we have claims now? We do have several claims. So why don't we buff up our army maintenance? I will raise all my levies. And let's see. Do you guys have any allies? You do not. So why don't I? I mean, I could call in my allies. I don't think I need to. Uh, but why don't we take Gaetulia? We will have that be our war goal. And we are now officially at war. I'll have you guys go over here. You guys come over here. So we'll have to keep an eye out. Maybe they'll hire mercenaries or something like that. We'll have to deal with that as soon as they do. As our guys are moving in here, it looks like they are building some sort of tribal settlement over here. Uh, Rome wants to trade with us. That's nice. They want some of our livestock. They can have it. Uh, maybe you guys don't go over there just yet. So we're going to have you 4,000, 4,500 come over here. And I guess I'm just going to sit here and wait for their troops. I'm not sure where their troops are. But we don't need to stack everybody on the siege. Rome, a call to arms from, from Rome. 
Rome wants me to uh okay. I mean I guess I'll honor that alliance. That's fine. They're at war with Etruria, Sabina, Umbria, Sinones, and Praetudia. Okay. Well, we're probably not gonna be able to do anything about that because we don't have any ships. I can't I literally cannot send my troops over there. So we're gonna just have to deal with this over here. We have this seven and a half thousand. I'm gonna send them over here. This looks like the entirety of their army, which is rather rather pitiful. You maybe you guys go over there as well. And you. No, okay, no, they do have a little bit more. So we're gonna have to bunch up a little bit. We can't just send them all one at a time, because that would be not good. So why don't you guys attachments allowed? And you guys will attach to units. And we're just waiting for these guys. Can we no, see, I, I want to I want to get them now before they disperse. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to catch them. Oh, it does say I will be able to catch them. Okay, but it is saying that I'm probably going to lose. I think that's okay because we are going to have reinforcements. Hopefully these guys get here. Let's see, we're going to get there on... We're going to get to Zarai on December 8th. You guys are going to get here on December 8th as well. Uh, did they did break their forces in half so that's actually a really good thing so we're gonna catch them like this so we're gonna catch half their forces and we're gonna get there in a few days hopefully we can survive I don't know if we can I forgot to double check my um... yeah okay these are these are as good as they can be I suppose that's all. Alright. You stay on shock action. So, can we get there in time? Yeah, we can. So, that should be a stack wipe. It's not a stack wipe, but we did win. You guys are coming over here, so why don't we send you guys in here? Maybe we can stack wipe them over here. Despite the horrible morale. That's a stack wipe. That's very nice. So, why don't you guys just head back up? How's this siege coming? It's coming. Okay, we do have someone rather disloyal. Who is that? That's you. Chief of the Takfarini clan. Oh, you were a part of that event, so I guess you're overlooked. Yeah, that's why. Okay. So we do see just short of a thousand soldiers kind of retreating over here. Probably have to send you guys over. It looks like this guy. Oh, this is the same guy. He is disloyal. So we're going to have to bribe him in order to disband him. But since he is disloyal, he's going after these guys on his own. I'll just let him do that for now. What is this? Ilemus Al Sid has begun devoting every waking hour to his work. He has become obsessive. If ruler, research points plus 2.0. So that's really nice. <coughs> Doesn't look like it increased anything, but uh, that is very nice. This siege is taking a while. Hopefully there is a breach rather soon. But I might put a cut in here, assuming either at the end of this war or maybe slightly during it. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat has gotten a little scratchy all of a sudden. Let's see what's happening over here in Rome. Rome is fighting off a bunch of people. They are currently losing. Despite having all of these soldiers <laughs> sitting around. Oh, they're, they're recovering their morale. They must have lost a battle. Wouldn't it be funny where, like, the one time I would like Rome to be a strong ally against Carthage that they have, like, a bad start to the game? That'd be kind of funny. We just stack wiped them over here. These guys are making progress. As soon as we see a breach, I will probably assault the fortress. And what is Carthage up to? They are not at war with anybody. And they have a ton of subjects. Just an absolute ton of subjects. If we were to declare war on them, <coughs> yeah, they don't even need allies. Holy smokes. That would be that would be a f not a good fight. We would we would lose that fight for sure. So 
So this siege is taking a little while here. But that's a very nice roll. We did just see a breach, so I'm going to order an assault. And we are going to take the fortress just like that. And I am going to peace out, I think. Probably as soon as this ticks over. Which it will do right now. There we are. Okay, so now we can do this. So that'll end that war. Um, I am actually going to imprison their leaders and let the rest disappear. That way I can go to characters and go to imprisoned and start selling these people off. But <clears throat> I'm going to do that next episode. This episode is a nice little first episode. Uh, we did just... We just uh, expanded our borders slightly, and now I think it's probably going to, we should probably look west, I think, and take these guys out over here, but that'll be next episode, so stay tuned for that, and if you enjoy this, please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.